Hi guys, Flying Fish here, and today in our Let's Draw series, we're going to be drawing Golden Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Now, some of you may be thinking, Flying Fish, you've already done this. Have, is it a redo? No, it is not a redo. I am doing the different version of Golden Freddy. Now, if you know, Golden Freddy is different in the first game and the second game. They're different Golden Freddies, I think. Something like that. So I'm going to be drawing the Golden Freddy from the second Five Nights at Freddy's game. And also you might notice that this is not my notebook. There's a notebook under here, but I'm just using it to draw on. It's not the same notebook. Um, I accidentally left that at my house, and I don't do these videos at my house. So, yeah. Let's get started. So first we're going to uh, get a center of things. by drawing the nose. Now, unlike the other Freddy, which... Like, the thing underneath, it was blocky. Kind of just round on this one. Now, draw his hat. Like, the rim of his hat up there. Now, we'll do his eyes. And also, I apologize for the lack of videos lately. That's because I've been having problems. I did have a Let's Draw video ready, and I was gonna upload it to YouTube, but, like, throughout the entire video, I was having, like, problems with my allergies and stuff like that. And that's so I just decided not to upload it. Now, Golden Freddy doesn't have an ear on this side. It's just a few wires. Now for the rest of his hat, it's like this. Now his teeth. Like this. It's weird because this Golden Freddy is more like smiling than anything else. It's kind of weird. Like, I can't really explain it. It's just so weird. Now we're done with the head until we start shading, but for now we're going to be doing a part of the body. And now you might be asking what these are right here. These are his legs because his legs are kind of sticking upwards and stuff. <laughs> like he's not staying on his bum. And around here, you want to do the bottom of that part, and the bottom part underneath that. So then, for the legs, it's animatronic-like. So if you've seen my Let's Draw the Endoskeleton video, then you'll know how to do this. And if not, just watch and I'll show you. He also has really big toes, or I think they're toes, or I know they're toes, it's just like all weird, like so, yeah. <clears throat> Let's do it like that. This leg is kind of slanted. But the 
foot is still like the other foot was. No, do his shoulder pads. Now, some some people think this, but I think the opposite. People just think Golden Freddy is just an empty suit, and his endoskeleton is the one endoskeleton that one walks around at night. I don't think that because when you're drawing Golden Freddy, you notice these endoskeleton pe right, pieces right here that are in between his legs and his foot. So that wouldn't really make any sense of why he would have them there and not anywhere else. I think it's just so dark inside of the head area, you can't see it. Or maybe he doesn't have a head part of the endoskeleton. And also, there has been a new teaser for Final Fantasy Freddy's 4. Or it's some weird Freddy thing with multiple Freddy heads on it. Super spooky. Might even be too spooky for you. Nah, I'm pretty sure you can handle spooky pretty well. So, if you guys want me to draw that, which is going to be kind of insane, I will, but I'm not really sure what we're going to call him. I'm guessing just Spring Freddy, because cause the spring animatronics are apparently the ones that you could get into as a suit. It's like Spring Trap. So if we do that, if we do do that video, I'm going to be calling it Spring Freddy. If the name changes, don't go spamming in the comments, I'll understand. And now we'll do his other arm. Now let's make them look a bit rugged and destroyed by adding a few holes in them. Just put like a few holes and stuff everywhere around him. And also, uh, I have a few wires coming out of those holes, too. I think there's wire coming out of this side and this side, because they're arm areas. Also, he does have a bow tie, except you can't really see it because his jaw's open so big. So there, this is Golden Freddy 2.0 for now, and now we're going to do some shading. Oh. I'm going to do this right here so you can tell this is like a bottom half. So you want to do a kind of darkest shade. And the endoskeleton parts are very dark. And also, it's time for the random word. So, if you guys don't know what the random word is, during my drawing video, I'll say a random word that I want you guys to comment down in the comment section below. Well, just to see who has gotten this far in. So, now the, the word of the day would be... The word of the day is Fredbear. So, if you guys have got to this point, comment down in the section below, Fredbear, to see how many people have actually been watching this through. So, anyway, let's continue. With some dark shades for the endoskeleton pieces. Mm, like, the inner parts are, like, lighter. Same off right here. And now that we're doing the shading, you're going to do a light shade, like, across here. 
Now the hats are a dark shade like the endoskeleton pieces, but not too dark though. I, what I mean by the hat and stuff is like the hat and bow tie. Now you want to do his jaw white like you did with the head. You want to spread it around here. Now, white for that. Now, we're going to make that right here. For here. Now for inside here, we're just going to do a very black color, kind of stark inside that and the Freddy parts. And we're going to do his stomach lighter like we did with the nose thingy. And there we go. So guys, this is Golden Freddy 2.0 from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you feel like it. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.